what is the performance measure of a design engineer that we are going to understand today not just about how to enter in the design field but how to achieve the growth what are those important parameters that also we we must know so one by one we are going to understand all these points it is all related to the growth as a design engineer or as a product design engineer the number one point is first time right design whatever activities you are doing in the company when you complete your design activity when you release the drawing there should not be any modifications further there should not be any mistake second point is your commitment third point you can note down it is about cost how to reduce the cost of my product your performance will be decided by this factor so as a design engineer how you are going to reduce the cost of your company one thing you can change the material second point you can change the process third point you can simplify the design take one example of a steering system steering wheel steering column steering gear box connecting rod tie rod steering knuckle wheel say there are 10 parts how you are going to reduce number of parts that you can see when you reduce number of parts your cost is going to reduce next point you can delete the part so how this is possible if you take example of a car there are around 4000 or 4500 parts in one car and some parts you will find that they are useless parts why this happens because of standardization of the item so as a design engineer you have to find out whether all the parts are required and you can delete some parts you can change the design in such a way that maybe number of people required to do the assembly can be reduced this is more related to production but before releasing your drawing you can consult with your production engineer that i am going to do this change because of this is there any manpower reduction in your area that you have to understand you can simplify the design so that ease of assembly assembly procedure will be simplified that you can do that is one aspect you can think about that how to reduce the cost there are so many things you can do you can simplify the design you can change the design you can change the material you can change the process you can eliminate part in my earlier company i am telling about 2001 that was a recession period and uh, there was a slogan in our company what was that slogan cut cost or get cut means you have to reduce the cost of the product otherwise leave the organization so everybody was given the target i was given a target of rupees 200 saving in my area and if i am not achieving that i may lose the job if i am achieving that i may be in the excellent category or superior category so that is called as a kra key result area or kpa means key performance area so this is all about the performance so first three points again we'll have a revision number one point for your growth as a design engineer first time right design number two commitment delivery number 3 cost and cost should be a parallel thinking whatever activity you are doing parallelly you have to think how i can reduce the cost of my product how i can give this benefit to my customer and whatever activity you are doing keep in mind whether you are in a job or doing your business always think about your customer how they will grow how will they achieve the next level this should be your approach so you don't have to worry about your growth that is a nature's rule cost quality and delivery 
these are the prominent three points in any business coming to the next performance measures of a design engineer fourth point implementation of creative ideas when you are giving output in the industry you have to think in a creative way means how differently i can do this so our institute is in pune and students they come every day for training so some students they have their two wheeler some students they come by bus some students they come by bicycle some students they come by walking because it is near to our institute they are living here so when you are coming to institute what are the various ways you have your car okay but there is a parking issue you have your two wheeler but there is a cost involved petrol third is that you can use cycle so environment friendly you are doing some exercise that is good for your health right and if possible if it is 3 4 kilometers away from institute area think about walking better than that so all these things you have to consider when you are doing designing activities means when you want to design a product think how differently you can design that think how i can change the process think about how can i can change the material think about simplification of that product various aspects creative ideas that is the implementation part so implementation of creative ideas means you may be having good ideas but that idea is useless if you are not implementing that means that should be a practice then only it is useful for the company and for the customer that you have to understand so it is all about implementation of your idea got this point so when you say something or when you i am saying something if i am not doing that that is not good thing so implementation some people they say no your action should speak louder than your words same thing here your results your results should speak yes you are capable so that was the fourth point fifth point adherence you can note down adherence to company national and international standards adherence adherence means you are stick to that suppose one company is there say xyz company the branch is in pune one branch is in delhi one is in chennai one is in new york for example and when you are in a particular branch you are producing some drawings and you are following some standards the branch new york branch they are producing similar drawings the output should be similar or we can say same same standard you have to follow means company standard may be all about dimensioning company standard may be all about your uh, policies company standard may be warranty related issues company standard all about facilities or all about code of honor so if you are following the standards of your company if you are adopting that in your product you will find it the product in a different way got this now sixth point performance measure of a design engineer that is coordination so coordination means in the company there is a team work and how good you are as a team player that is important that is seen in the company one project is there in r&d you are a team member along with you there is one process engineer production engineer quality engineer purchase engineer service engineer marketing engineer so that is a concept nowadays that is called as a cft cross functional team so when you are doing your design activity all these members are there and they are also contributing 
so some suggestions they are giving so you have to accept if you find that yes that is good for this product definitely you should accept so design engineers should work on these six major parameters to achieve faster growth thank you for watching this video